Today, we're going to learn how to use ChatGPT on your Windows computer by talking to it with your voice. We're going to show you how to do it using Brainer desktop app. Let's get started. First off, let's talk briefly about Brainer. If you haven't heard of it before, Brainer is an AI personal assistant, large language model voice interface, speech-to-text dictation software, and automation software for Windows. It offers a wide range of features, but today we'll focus solely on using ChatGPT's latest language model, that is GPT-4 Omni, via voice. To begin, you'll need to have Brainer installed on your Windows PC. If you don't already have it, you can download it from our official website. You can find the download link in the description below. Once you have Brainer installed, open the application. You'll see an interface that looks like this. Now let's configure Brainer to use GPT-4 Omni and a human sounding TTS voice. Select GPT-4 Omni from this large language model selection drop-down menu. Enable LM mode so that our input is directly sent to GPT-4 Omni. Click on the settings icon or press Ctrl plus Alt plus E to open settings dialog and navigate to the voice and language section. Under select online voice drop-down, Select Advanced AI Voice for a more natural human sounding voice. Click on OK to apply changes. Now that we've completed voice setup, we can simply type our question or prompt here in the input field and press Enter to get reply from ChatGPT4. But since we want to interact with ChatGPT using our voice, we will start the microphone first. Click on the microphone button, the gray button on the bottom right side of Brainer's window, or press Ctrl plus Alt plus L, the gray microphone button should turn red if everything is working correct. If it asks for microphone permission, click Allow. We can attach an image or file by ticking on the attachment icon. We can also enable web access to incorporate the latest information in response. Now, let's see it in action. Provide a summary of the latest breakthrough in AI technology. Certainly. Based on the latest sources, here is a summary of the most recent breakthroughs in AI technology. 1. Generative AI Utility In 2024, generative AI is expected to become more practical and useful for everyday users, not just tech experts. More individuals will experiment with smaller AI models tailored to specific needs. 2. Multimodal AI AI that can process and integrate multiple types of data like text, audio, and images continues to advance, enhancing its ability to understand and generate complex content. As you can see, it gave us an informative response. Feel free to ask it any question or to help with various tasks, such as drafting emails, writing reports, or even generating creative content. Whether you need it for office work, study, or research, Brainer's integration with GPT-4 makes it incredibly simple and efficient. However, voice interactions can sometimes be challenging, especially for users who need more time to articulate their thoughts. Brainer's dictation mode provides a more accommodating environment for such users. By utilizing this feature, you can take as much time as you need to ask your questions without being interrupted. Let's see how we can use this feature. To enable dictation mode, we need to type or say dictation mode on. Alternatively, we can click on the D icon on the toolbar or press Alt plus D while Brainer's main window is in focus. The icon will turn green, indicating that dictation mode is active. To ensure that our speech is correctly transcribed into the input field, we need to place the mouse cursor in Brainer's input field. Now, we can proceed with our question. What are the top five features of Brainer? Because we're now using dictation mode, Brainer will type our speech into the input field as we speak. 
You can feel free to take your time. Brainer will not cut you off. You can pause between words or phrases as needed. You can also edit the text both manually and using dictation commands. Linked to dictation commands is provided in the description. Once we've finished composing our question or command, to submit it, we can simply say enter. Here are the top five features of Braina, an intelligent personal assistant, human language interface, automation, and voice recognition software. So dictation mode allows you to maintain control over when your question is submitted, reducing the frustration of being cut off prematurely. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.